This week we are going to work with the variable health and we're going to create a game where a sprite's character's health can go up and down. So the first thing we need to do is we need to make three uh, sprites. We have a cat and you could you know create what you want to use. I'll put in a bear. So we have a cat, we have a bear and I'll put in an apple. And like I said, you can do your own designs. Let's do a background as well. Like a forest. Let's look how about this. This could work. Okay. So we have a cat, an apple, and a bear. And let's work with the cat first. So the first thing we have to do is we have to go to costumes. So you see we have two cats. What we want to do is we want to create another one. So we're going to do right click. So we're going to click on the sprite and we do right click and we do duplicate. So now we have three costumes. So the first thing we'll have is that we'll have our first costume that looks like this. Then we'll have our second costume and let's make it, you can make it purple if you want. It's up to you. You can make it red or purple or, or uh, green, whatever. You, maybe I'll make this the second one. Um, maybe I'll make the second one purple. Okay, it's up to you what you want to do. Now I'm going to fill him in purple. Okay, now I'm going to make the last one. It's up to you what you want. I'll make him green. Okay, and then I go to the paint bucket. Now I have a green. So now what I have is I have a cat that has different costumes. So I can go, he can look like this, this, or this. Okay, And we're going to use those effects to change our game to make it look different when the health of the sprite varies. We'll go back to code, and now we're going to go to variables. We're going to make a variable, and we'll call it health. Okay, so with the variables, make a variable, and call it health. Okay, we just did that. And when you start your game, you set your health to 100. And when the flag's clicked, set your health to 100. And you're going to switch, you go to looks, and switch costume to which where do you want him to look like when he starts the game? Which costume do you want? I'm going to go to costumes. I want him to be at number one. So we're going to switch our costume to number one. So when he starts the game, he's going to look like this. He's going to have 100 health. Now let's create some events. Let's say that um, when the space bar is clicked, uh, clicked, he's going to do motion, change Y. Oops, sorry, change Y by 100. And he can wait, control wait, 0.1 seconds, one tenth of a second. And then he's going to change y by negative 100. So this gives the effect of, of a jump. Okay, so he's got a little jump like that up and down. And if you want to, you can make this, you know, different. It's up to you however you want to do this. You can make this point two, however you want to do. It's up to you how fast you want it to be. It's, it's your design. Now we have to have some more movement. So we'll have uh, when the up arrow is pressed. What are we going to do when the up arrow is pressed? We're going to change the Y by five. And then we could just do a quick duplicate. And then we could say when the down arrow is pressed, change the y by negative 5 and then we could do events you can say when the up arrows uh, right and left arrows press so we have a right arrow what do you want to do when the right arrows press you want to change the x go to motion change x by 5 you do right click duplicate and now we have when the left arrow is pressed, negative 5. So now we have a, he can jump, he can move left and right, he can go up and down. Okay, so now we have a cat that can move. And now we need to just have some little things happen when, when um, he touches the apple or when, when he touches the bear. So let's take a look at that. So now we're going to say uh, events. When the flag is clicked, 
And we're going to say control forever. And we're going to say if then. If then. Okay, so forever if then. If he's touching the apple, if he's touching the apple, what do you want to happen if he's touching the apple? Well, what I want to do is I want to say the apple helps, helps him. So we're going to change our health by what? I'll make it five. Oh, I'll make it five. And then I want to switch his looks. And I want him to switch to costume. What do I want his costume to put? I want him to go to green. So I want him to go to number three. To costume three. When he gets the apples, he'll change to gray, to green. And then I'm going to wait, control. Wait one second. And then I'm going to go looks. And then what I'm going to do is switch to costume. And let's go to costume one again. So let's take a look. So now we have our, we click our flag. When he touches the, the apple, he turns green. Okay? So he touches the apple, he turns green. And, this, and the points go up. Okay? So we have the basics of that starting of a game. Now I'm going to do right click duplicate. Now I have this over here. And now what do we want to do? We want to say, whoop, oh, sorry about that. If he's touching the bear, if he's touching the bear, we want him to lose five health. We want him to lose five health. And we want him to switch to which costume? Let's have him switch to the, the purple one. Now you could make this red too if you want, if that's, if that's something you want to do. But I'll keep it purple. So he's going to switch to costume two. So now, when he touches the bear, so I'll just make this, when he touches the bear, see he loses health and he changes color. Okay, so that's our little effect that um, his health has been affected. Now we need to put it into the game that if his health goes low, the game stops. So we're gonna say when clicked, control forever if then. Forever if then, oh, if then. What are we going to say? If the health, so we go to variables, and we'll just take this health, just this one here. If our health, see how I just pulled this from here? Just this one on the top. If our health operations, if our health is less than what? Maybe if our health is less than zero. If our health is less than zero, what do we want to do? Health is less than zero, we could say stop all. So control. You could say stop all. And even if you wanted to, what you could do is you could put sound in there too if you want. You could, you know, you know, you could say, um, you know, you lose. You could even say, you know, you lose. If you wanted to do, you could put you lose in there. You know, you could put sound in there. It's, it's up to you. You don't have to. You could put a sound in there, like maybe have them play uh, meow or something like that, you know, and then, and then stop all. You don't have to do that. But um, you could add that in there if you want as well. It's up to you. Okay. So now when his health goes less than, I'll make this less than one. I'll make it less. So that way at zero, he stops. So now when, if his health goes down, the game's going to stop. So let's see. Let's say I keep going into the bear. Okay. I keep going into the bear. I, I, I keep falling into the bear. My health is going down. And you, you don't have to make it five. Uh, that each time he loses five times, you can make him lose ten points if you want to do. It's up to you. And now when we see once he's getting down there, he's losing his points, eventually it's going to stop the game. See, it changes his color, and now the game stopped. He, 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 the health stopped, and um, everything stopped. Now we need to code the bear and the apple so that they're moving around. So here's how I'll do the apple. For the apple, what I'm going to do is I'm going to say events, flag when clicked, Control forever. So go to random. Go to random position. So now I have this apple going all over the place. Okay. Now that makes it difficult. Okay. If you want to make it a little slower, you could do wait one second. So now he's going to be in a spot for a little bit. And now I could try to find him. Well, I got him there. And I could go down. Oh. And if this is too hard for you, you could you know change this to two seconds, or um, you know three seconds is up to you. And if you don't want to use go to, you could use glide. You could even use glide to random if you want instead. Okay, so if you if you don't want to use this, you could use glide to to one second. You can even try this. You know, so it gives it different effects 
when, when it moves up and down like that. So it's up to you how you want to do that one. And now let's look at the bear. So now we need to look at the bear. And the bear is going to be chasing after the, the cat. So what I'm going to do for the bear is I'm going to do events, one clicked, forever. And I want to use glide, motion glide. Now here's what you could do. You could either make this random or you could say towards sprite one, which is the cat. So if I want to make it tougher, I could say glide one second. So now you see he's constantly coming after the cat. It's, it makes it very difficult. You could make this glide one second. You can make this glide five seconds to cat if you want to. And then, you know, the cat, he'll, he'll be coming after the cat. So he's constantly chasing after you. Okay, now if that's too hard, what you could do, if that's too hard to, to keep up with, what you could do is you could make this a random, random position. So now we have a game with health and with, the, with costume changes. So if the apple, oh, if the cat's getting to the apple, oh, the bear got him, he changes color. If the bear's getting me changes color, his health goes down. If he can get to the apple, his health goes up. If I wanna make the cat go quicker, what I do is I click on the cat, and then what I would do is I would just make this, instead of five, I could make this 10 or 15, it's 20, it's up to you. So notice if I made this, let's say 15, and I made this 15. Now, when I click on the apple, the caddy will go much, much quicker. Okay, so it's up to you, it's your game. Just keep it consistent. If you make this 15, make this negative 15 and make this negative 15 as well. So it's up to you however you want to do it, but now if you change that, now the, now the cat will go much quicker. It's up to you. Okay, it's your design. The other thing you could do too is you could make the cat and the apple smaller by changing the size. So you do not have to do this exactly like I did. I actually would prefer if, if you did it differently than me. But what I would like you to do is incorporate costume changes with health so that you get that effect if the cat or whatever sprite you choose is losing health or gaining health, it changes its costume to a different color.